patch Cyberpunk 2077 has been completely transformed. In this first of a two-part video series, we'll explore the major changes and improvements that have revitalized this once broken open world RPG. So namaskar friends, welcome to Illegal Desi. Let's get into it. Now, as I just said, this is a two-part video series, wherein the first video will cover patch 2.0 and the second video, which will come out tomorrow, will cover the latest expansion Phantom Liberty. The original game, when launched back in December of 2019, was a massive disaster, causing nearly destroying the studio's reputation. If you've been hesitant to return to Night City, or are new to the game, now might be the time to have a look at what Cyberpunk has to offer. One of the first things to note about Patch 2.0 is the remarkable improvement in the game's overall performance and graphical quality. The technical issues that plagued the initial release have largely been addressed and Cyberpunk 2077 now runs smoother and looks better than ever before. The game has come a long way in terms of the optimization, making Night City feel more like an immersive and polished environment. Perhaps the most significant change in this patch is the complete overhaul of the perk system. The old system was more about passive buffs but the new skill tree introduces game-changing abilities that fundamentally alter the way you approach combat and interact with the world. Whether you prefer a stealthy approach, want to become a cyber ninja, or take on a more action-oriented playstyle, there are perks and abilities to suit your preferences. The addition of abilities like cloaking, slowed time, and bullet parrying adds depth and excitement to the already stellar combat system. The enemy AI has also seen notable improvements, making combat encounters more dynamic and engaging. Enemies now have distinct roles and behaviors during battles, forcing you to adapt your tactics accordingly. For instance, shotgun wielding foes rush you while others take cover and provide suppressing fire. This makes for more strategic and enjoyable combat scenarios. It is clear that CDPR has aimed to reduce the power gap between your character and your adversaries, shifting the focus towards skill-based gameplay and character build decisions. The revamped police system is something that I'm not fully convinced with. What I understood was that the NCPD will now respond more realistically to your criminal activities, escalating the situation as your wanted level increases in a GTA-style 5-star system. With the highest level of threat involving Max Stack, the Spec Ops Police of Night City. However, as you can see here, in spite of directly assaulting police officers, they aren't reacting in the way expected. Now, this could be a minor bug, however, considering that you will be dealing with gang members 95% of the time, this is something I am willing to overlook. Vehicular combat has been introduced, adding a new layer of excitement to the game. While it may not be for everyone, the option to engage in high-speed gunfights while cruising through Night City's neon-lit streets is undeniably exhilarating. The ability to aim and fire weapons from your vehicles along with auto-aim functionality provides a more action-packed experience for those who crave vehicular chaos. Beyond these major changes, the new patch also brings a few quality-of-life improvements, from a more streamlined inventory system to a refined user interface and much more meaningful loot drops, the overall gameplay experience is significantly enhanced. 
in spite of so many updates, the bugs have not fully gone away and you will get a bit of glimpse of that as you play along. From floating enemies to weapons to the one where the car isn't moving but it appears that it's still being driven. But one of the slightly frustrating ones is that when you are driving a car, it randomly stops and it gets annoying especially if this bug occurs during the few of the chase missions. Over here, that bug kicked in, forcing me to fail this side mission. In conclusion, Cyberpunk 2077 has undergone a remarkable transformation with this patch. It is no longer the troubled release it once was. It has evolved into an excellent RPG that's both technically improved and more engaging than ever. If you have been on the fence about returning to Night City or are trying it for the first time, there is no better time than now. The game's newfound depth, improved combat mechanics and overall polish makes it a must-play for RPG enthusiasts and fans of the cyberpunk genre alike. I would even go to say that 21st September 2023 is the actual release date of the cyberpunk CDPR wanted us to play. If you liked the video, then hit the like and subscribe button and share it out to a friend. It helps out this channel more than you know. Your feedback is appreciated down in the comments below. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you for part 2.